Hi everyone, thanks so much for joining me today. I'm here to share layouts one to five um, for days one to five of Christie's Beautiful Life's 30 Days of Sketches at series 11. Uh, so I've got copies of all of the sketches and I'll link the designers of them in the description box below and I'll also link Christie's channel with the playlist of everybody that's taking part. There's loads of really, really good layouts out there. So make sure you give some love and spend some time watching some of their videos because I'm sure they'd appreciate it. So day one sketch was by Jessie B Scrapbooking. I will link her channel. I don't know what is all over this piece of paper, but it probably been put on a baby wipe or something. Uh, but I will link her channel in the description box below, as I've already said. So day one, I did pictures of my little girl. She's, well, my youngest one. I've got four altogether, two boys, two girls. This one is a few years old, the pictures. She was probably about, probably about seven or eight in this picture. Well, these pictures, she's now... 11 and a half so about to go to secondary school but yeah she discovered selfie mode on my camera and decided that she was going to take loads of random pictures of herself i'm so sorry if you can hear my cat she's decided to start meowing at the top of her voice so yeah i used really old papers um create paper cute girl and the black and white was from an old project life pack loads of random embellishments um this is a foam thicker from an amy tangerine pack um, that really didn't stand out on um, the white paper so I backed it with some black cardstock and to be honest I've not really used much of that pack because of that whole thing I use a lot of white backgrounds and they just don't stand out but now I've done that for the first time I'm sure I'm going to do it a lot lot more and hopefully get that pack used up because as I said it is really really old so yep day one so day two the sketch was by nicole santos and her channel is because we love to scrap i will link that as well uh, so i used snow pictures also years and years old i've got so many pictures from years ago that still need scrapbooking so i don't think i'm ever likely to run out of pictures to do but yeah um old bow bunny collection called altitude um i just cut them into one inch strips and then i've actually like flipped the, the sketch around a little bit and done it that way but as we all know, sketch is just a starting point. So yeah, really happy with how this one turned out. Um, it's not a colour that I use often with the purple. As we all know, there's not a lot of purple in scrapbooking collections anyway. Um, but yeah, I don't have many winter papers or Christmas papers. It's not something that I scrap often. So yeah, it was nice to get those pictures done. So yeah, day two. Day three, we've got a sketch by Debbie Norton Barton. Um, I think I called her Diane in the first video, so apologies, Debbie. Um, I will link her in the description box. So I took a bit of a different way with this one. So instead of doing, a lot of people did the torn layers for these bits here. Um, I just took it as a wreath. Um, it's kind of flipped it around a little bit, probably a little bit like that, because I've taken this embellishment cluster and made it this one here, and this one has kind of moved around a little bit. Instead of putting a tag with the title on, I've got this little frame just here that I'll do the journaling on, and instead of the pictures to the side, I've done the, the title in place of those. So, yeah, really like that one. Um, I like all the soft colours. Took me an age to um, cussy, cussy foot. <laughs> took me forever to fussy cut all the florals from the cocoa vanilla connection but i think it was worth it day four the sketch is by um janet fritz galaxy girl creations so this is the original orientation of the sketch i've just flipped it round and done it this way because my pictures were portrait orientation um i think this layout wins for the oldest product in my stash um uh, so these thickers 2009 so 14 years old and they were still sticky they're actually really really sticky i don't think they're going to be going anywhere for a while um yeah it's normally especially chipboard thickers they kind of lose the stick after a couple of years but 14 years and still going strong so I think they matched it perfectly and I would still buy them if they were available today. Really like that colour and the font and everything. Um, but yeah, this paper was a Dear Lizzie one. This is an old My Mind's Eye. Not bothered by the fact that this is a white background. That's cream based. Uh, I think it actually works quite well with the contrast. So I just did a bit of an edge punch along these ones, made it look a little bit like lace and more fussy cut florals. But this time they were from a, I think it was a Paige Evans collection, also years old. But yeah, love that one. That's probably my favourite one from this week, actually. Okay, the final one for this video is day five. This was a scrap by um, a sketch by Scrappy Sisters. Uh, I think it was Katie that did this one, Katie Scott. Um, so I've flipped it round again, just because she's facing that direction, so it made more sense, but kept the photograph 
the same portrait orientation. Instead of a second photograph, I've just put this little trimmed down journaling card and backed it with some of this paper. Old Webster's Pages paper this is. No idea where a lot of the other stuff came from. I know this is Simple Stories. Um, I think that was from a really old paper pad that might have been a first edition one. Um, but yeah, really happy with that one. Uh, just got some wood veneer on here instead of enamel dots. Um, but yeah, that's it. So please feel free to join me. I'm going to be sharing another video for the page kits that I've put together for next week. So days six to 13, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Day six to 12. Obviously I can't add up today. So yeah, feel free to join me back for that one. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. I've not posted for quite a while, so it could do with all the help it can get. So if you'd like to see more, feel free to subscribe and I will see you back here soon. Have a good weekend. Bye.